Hello ladies and gentlemen, finally we are diving in into variables in JavaScript. So in the last tutorial we have covered data types and in this one we are uh, going to take a look into how to declare these bloody uh, variables in JavaScript. And uh, kind of very quickly, uh, there are a couple of um, ways you can do that. So from uh, 2015, uh, people who are uh, creating, working on JavaScript engine, they have introduced uh, a couple of more uh, ways to declare uh, variables in JavaScript. So uh, we're going to cover all of these uh, options, but we're going to split them into separate videos. So in this one, we will cover one and then there will be a couple of other videos where I will explain others in more details. So, uh, but this one will be like an intro uh, section. So uh, let's cover off a few extra bits, which will be needed for understanding variables in general. So what are variables uh, at all? Like if you are not familiar with any programming language um, in the first place, you will be wondering what the hell variable is uh, in general. So variable uh, in two words uh, you can imagine something like a box where you put stuff basically so uh, but this all happens inside of your computer memory basically so you know like ram memory operating memory so uh, you can register a space in this memory by creating a variable with a certain name that you give it give to it and in uh, this space of memory uh, to a given name you can put some data and this data will be a um, certain type as we described in the last tutorial uh, which might be like something like a string number uh, boolean uh, object etc so in two words that's basically what variables are so it's a registered space uh, with the given name in your uh, pc memory basically and yeah so that's pretty much what it is so <clears throat> let's quickly do a recap of data types um, that we described in the last tutorial which you can also uh, take a look if you didn't i will also put a link down into the description um, but yeah so there are various types um, data types in javascript like um, uh, object string number boolean big end and undefined undefined is something very unique to javascript and we will cover this one in particular in this tutorial as well uh, so yeah and all these types can be stored basically within variables okay so yeah uh cool let's dive in into actual action so how to declare a variable using keyword var as i mentioned uh, there are a couple of ways now uh, since 2015 so there are var let and const uh, so these are keywords to declare variables and uh, in this tutorial we're going to cover var and uh, in any way we whatever option you use you will need to use a keyword in this case we need keyword var and as you can see, my IDE is already recognizing this method very quickly. So it kind of suggests me to autocomplete this. Um, so since you put a keyword var, you also need to uh, give it a name. So your variable should be named somehow. And there are good practices of how to do it, etc., etc. I think we will. it's best to cover best practices um, for declaring variables uh, in another separate video because it might take a while to explain all the uh, nuances but uh, for now all you need to know is that your variable name can contain any character any number inside though your variable can't start with number as you can see it's a syntax error straight away it also can contain some of the special characters like underscore so you can split words for example uh, and you can start your variable name with the underscore but you can't start your variable with other special characters uh, there are some uh, other special characters that are supported and you can start your variable names with the special characters like dollar sign for example and this um, variable name will be absolutely okay so there are a couple that are uh, supported like underscore or dollar sign but not many so like for example if you will do exclamation mark 
it will not work because exclamation mark uh, is a registered symbol in JavaScript <coughs> and it's not possible to use it as part of the variable name at all even in the middle and some other like star for example yeah so majority of the special characters will not be supported okay um, <coughs> in the middle of your variable name at the beginning at the end doesn't matter so use numbers use letters uppercase lowercase and um, some specific uh, special characters like underscore will be mm, like most used um, kind of in your real life experience basically so there you go um, as I mentioned there are a couple of uh, best practices but we will cover this in another video I think because it may take a while so for now I will explain uh, one interesting thing so there are a couple of ways you can declare a variable uh, first of all uh, you can declare it like this so var a and then just end the line and in this case your variable will be declared but there will no be any uh, value for this variable okay and if I will print out this variable as you can see it's undefined familiar type from last tutorial um, so yeah it's because we have declared a variable but there is no value assigned or defined value for this variable and here are a couple of ways you can do that so you can declare a variable and assign a value afterwards like this and as you can see the result is one okay or you can declare a variable and assign a value straight away like this so you say var a equal to okay so this is how you do it and another interesting thing that you might need to know is that you can declare few variables at the same time so for example if you need like three variables to be declared um, at the same time you can say a b C. So you declare with one keyword var a b c. So you don't have to go like var a, var b, var c. Okay, so you can do them in the list. And the same same way you can uh, print them out, and all of them will be undefined. You see, and we can like assign value to a, and let's say we want b to be four initially so as you can see a was declared and defined later on so it's one b is declared and defined straight away four and c is declared but not defined so it's undefined all right uh, so that's what is about declaration and another interesting thing that you will probably face quite a lot especially when you will be googling uh, JavaScript stuff on internet is mutations so mutations is uh, something that keyword var supports basically and it means that you can um, change the value after it was already assigned so for example we know that letter a and b already have some values to it right but we want a to be uh, two instead of one and you can do that so that's the mutation so you mutated the value and there are pros and cons to this approach so um, we will cover this a little bit later when we will compare uh, methods of declaration ver um, variables declarations but in general that's what you need to know so you can mutate values of variables which were declared with keyword var okay so and you just basically reassign a new value and that means that the new value will be current value basically um, and that's pretty much it so in the next tutorial we will cover uh, next uh, keyword and then um, yeah see you in the next video thank you like subscribe and comment please bye